Current Affairs, 12th March 2022 The Supreme Court of India has named Justice A.K. Sikri as chairperson of the High Power Committee of the Chardam Project. The previous chairperson, Prof. Ravi Chopra, had resigned from his post in February 2022 after being appointed as the chairperson of the HPC on August 8, 2019. From India, six airports have found a place among the best airports by size and region by the Airports Council International in its Airport Service Quality Survey for the year 2021. The airports have been adjudged among the Asia-Pacific region in different categories based on annual passenger traffic. The Union Civil Aviation Minister Jyoti Raditya Sindhya and the Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan jointly inaugurated the first drone school in Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. This drone school is one of the five drone schools planned to be opened in different cities of Madhya Pradesh. The other four cities are Bhopal, Indore, Jabalpur and Satna. Debasish Panda has been appointed as the chairman of the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India. He is a former Financial Services Secretary. The post of chairman of IRDEI was lying vacant since May 2021 when Subhash Chandra Kuntia completed his term. Reserve Bank of India has directed Paytm Payments Bank Limited to stop the onboarding of new customers with immediate effect. The bank has also been directed to appoint an IT audit firm to conduct a comprehensive system audits of its IT system. The RBI took the decision in exercise of its powers under Section 35A of the Banking Regulation Act 1949. A new biography titled Soli Sorabzi Life and Times was announced during the occasion of the 92nd birth anniversary of Soli Sorabzi. It is authored by advocate and legal scholar Abhinav Chandrajud and will be released in April 2022. The Bureau of Indian Standards and IIT Roorke signed a memorandum of understanding for the establishment of BIS standardization, chaired professor at IIT Roorke. This would be the first time BIS created a standardization chair in an institute for activities related to standardization and conformity assessment. It will aid in the establishment of standards and crucial areas such as IIT's blockchain applicants for e-governance. From March 8 to March 10, 2022, Lieutenant General Richard Wood, the Chief of the Australian Army, was in India for three days. The Australian Army Chief paid a visit to the Centre for Land Warfare Studies and Indian Army Think Tank in New Delhi. Tripura government has announced a special scheme, Mukhya Mantri Chasrami Kalyan Prakalpa for tea workers. A special scheme allotting 85 crores for its implementation as a step toward bringing the 7,000 tea garden workers of Tripura under the social security net. This special scheme would ensure housing, rations and financial support to the tea garden workers by integrating the facilities that are entitled to them by the state government and the central government. Minister of Labour and Employment and the MOEFCC Bhupen Rado has launched a book titled Role of Labour in India's Development. V.V. Giri National Labour Institute has published the book. The publishing of the book is part of the iconic week celebrations, the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. Prabha Narasimhan has been appointed as the CEO and MD of Colgate Palmolive India Limited. She succeeded Ram Raghavan, who has been promoted to the role of President, Enterprise Oral Care at Colgate Palmolive Company. Prior to this, she was working as Executive Director of Hindustan and Liver. Colgate Palmolive provides oral care products under the Colgate brand. It also provides personal care products under the Palmolive brand name. The latest edition of Democracy Report was released recently by the Wiedem Institute at the Sweden's University of Gothenburg. This study was titled Democracy Report 2022, Autocratization Changing Nature. The report classifies countries into four regime types based on their score in the Liberal Democratic Index. Liberal Democracy, Electoral Democracy, Electoral Autocracy and Closed Autocracy. Union Minister for MSME Narayan Dane has announced the MSME Innovative Scheme. As well as the MSME IDA Hackathon 2022, Shri Rane speaking on the occasion stated that MSMEs play an essential role in Atmanit Bharat. He claims that these programs will assist entrepreneurs in launching new business.